bald eagle's nest. Pretty cool, two of them just flew out. I didn't get my phone out in time. Alright, February 22nd, came out for a quick walk today, it's raining so not doing a lot of uh, a lot of filming, but we just came up on our first shed and pretty nice little three point side right here on the field edge where they've been walking. Looks like we're in a pretty good area though, I'm going to pick this one up. down for a little while man I think them six point bucks are so cool he'll be a dandy if he stays a six probably three-year-old pretty decent mass very cool first one of the day all right just walked up on number two for the day let's keep it going Stuck out like a sore thumb. White. It's been on the ground for a while. All right. Number 16 for the year. Not a bad shed. Well, we started off kind of slow today, but we're really starting to pick up the pace. I just spotted number three and uh, still got plenty of time today so hopefully we can pick up a few more let's grab this one real quick another one that looks like it's been on the ground for a while oh yeah it's been on the ground for a long time definitely this year but that might have been a january drop All right, guys, it's February 22nd, so what I would still consider early in the shed season, like I said, I'm I'm not even 100% sure 50% of the bucks have dropped yet. I think a lot are still holding. So I'm not diving deep in my cover yet. I'm basically just hitting, you know, field edges, waterways, um, staging areas, easy spots where I can get in and out and not disturb a whole lot. And... I was just walking this field edge here and sure enough came up on number four for the day. So let's grab it real quick, see what we got. shed but definitely not here in Illinois cool little buck another fresh one all right it's February 24th and uh, I just got to my spot and I got two sheds up here already and they're not a match set so off to another fast start. I love it when you can get two different sheds off two different bucks in the same video frame. That's awesome. All right, let's grab them.
fresh. Sweet. That's 20 for the year. All right. All right, just picked up them two a little bit ago. And I think I just found the match to that little one. Let's go see. Yep, I'd say that's the match. It's a little match set, but it's a match set. All right. Already got three. I hope to find a lot more today. Number four for the day. Another little guy, but man. This is a great, great sign. Man. I like them little ones too. God dang. I hope the rest of the day goes like this. It's still early. I, if I had to guess, I'd say maybe 60% of shed. Um, I haven't even been running cameras on this farm, so I don't know what, uh, for sure, like what percentage are holding here. I don't even know if my target bucks are still holding or not, but I mean, it's getting, getting to the good time where you just gotta go when you get the chance. And, uh, Like I said, off to a great start. So hopefully we can keep it up. All right, I saw this <clears throat> leg bone over here. So I came to check it out. <laughs> Look what's laying right next to it. Little spike shed. <laughs> That's cool. Say next to finding a big shed, a little little spike's probably my favorite favorite shed to find. That's just neat. All right, that's five for today. We might hit double digits. All right, number six for the day. It's not even nine o'clock yet. This thing's been here for a little while. It's covered up in grass. Probably last year's shed. All right, that's six. We've been at it for a little while. We just came up on a freshie here. It's number seven today. It's still early. I don't know if I recognize this deer or not. I'll have to go through my pictures. He's pretty unique, or at least recognizable. Younger buck. Grab them real quick. Oh, yeah, that's a cool little buck there. Pretty dang fresh. Probably a two year old. Sweet. All right. It's been a while since we found that last one. I mean, it's probably been at least two hours, maybe three. 
and that's just how it goes uh seems like they come in bunches and then you'll go in a, to a little bit of a drought and then you'll find a couple more but i just uh just walked up on one it looks like a good one but i'm pretty sure it's from last year uh this is just a big bedding ridge and i guess i missed it last year i don't know how but i'm curious what buck it is so let's uh let's check it out real quick yeah it looks like a pretty good one Definitely last year, I'd say. Oh. oh yeah, for sure last year. But it's not chewed up or nothing. I'll gladly take that. All right, that's number eight today. shed if you look man this is just this is grass growing on the on this ridge there's a lot of cedar trees it's just a great great bedding ridge and i found a few sheds on it in the past but it's just kind of hit or miss i mean definitely more does bed in here than bucks it's a good spot for the bucks to check during the rut but You'll find a few here and there. Maybe we'll find a couple more. You know you're in a high deer density area, like a doe bedding area, whenever you can smell the deer. Like right now, I mean, it stinks like deer in here. It almost smells like a cattle farm and there's no livestock anywhere near me. And it is tore up in here. I'm hoping I can maybe find a live one here. No, oh, man, it looks good. One of them spots, it just looks like there could be a shed laying anywhere. Love walking spots like that. All right, it's March 1st, and I've been walking for a good three hours. And I've been walking pretty good spot here, and I have not found a single shed. So, just in case you guys think that I go out and find a handful of sheds every time, that is not the case. I think the problem with this spot is lack of food. This was a cornfield out here that they disked under. And I think all the bucks that were in here have gone elsewhere to winter. Which that's not saying that you can't find a shed in here. But it's proving to be difficult. So we're gonna walk the rest of this out Maybe we'll get lucky. If not, we'll try someplace else tomorrow. So, hopefully we, uh, so 
So hopefully we find something to show you, but if not, got some good exercise at least. All right. All right, it's March 2nd, out for another shed hunt. We walked about six miles yesterday and did not find a single shed, which happens. I mean, we were due for a bad day, but we just got out a little bit ago and I just spotted one up here. Can't really tell what it is. Looks pretty good. Uh, could even be from last year. It's pretty white, but it's out kind of in the wide open. So let's walk up on it. I'm excited to see what deer this is. And this thing was laying tines up or I never would have seen it. Oh yeah. I definitely think it's last year's shed. Yep, it is. Wow, pretty good little buck. Six point side. Yeah, definitely last year's shed, but I'm not even sure what deer that is. Missed that one last year. He might have dropped late. All right. Another one from last year. Maybe I've... Maybe I didn't walk this last year. I thought I did, but maybe I missed it. Finding two from last year right off the bat makes me wonder, unless I walked it really early. All right. All right, I'm convinced now that I didn't even hit this last year. I could see missing one or two, but I just found my third one from last year. It's a little guy, but it's just laying out here in the open. There's no way I missed all of these. So, hopefully we can find some freshies, but I'll keep picking them up from last year, too. All right, number three for the day. Man, I wish I would have walked this last year. I just walked up on a set from last year. It looks like a pretty good one. And it's chewed almost to nothing. That's why you always gotta walk your stuff, man. All right, let's get it. I mean, it wasn't a giant by any means, but God, it would have been a nice find if it was a fresh set just laying there side by side. Well, that's two more. That makes five for the day. Still haven't found a freshie yet, which is surprising. All right. Finally got a fresh one today. I'm not sure what, what this shed's got going on. Looks like it might have a drop time. I, I don't know. I gotta pick this thing up. All right, I walk this every year just because it looks so bucky. It's just a little, little strip of timber. I never find anything in here, and I finally, finally found one. And this thing is wild, man. That is, that is a cool shed. It's been down for a while. That is freaking neat, man. Don't know that deer. Hmm. All right, guys. I hunt this area and I run a bunch of trail cameras. 
and I have found several sheds this year that I have no idea what deer they are. And I think it just goes to show you, man, you think you got a good handle on what deer are in your area. And I mean, you, you probably do uh, for the most part, but there are deer around that you don't know about and probably a lot more than you think. I mean, deer with, you know, just a super small core area or for whatever reason, they just are a little bit on the outskirts of your property. But it's kind of exciting because you never really know what's out there, even with cameras. This is a cool deer. I'd love to find the other side just to see what he is. Big old flyer off the back. Love it, man. I love it. All right, it's not pretty, but uh, just walked up on number seven for the day. And it looks like it's from last year too. And I had to have walked right by this thing last time I walked this spot. But we'll pick it up and uh, add it to the total. 